TIFU by unnecessarily trying to ID someone at work. I am a white person who works the register at a gas station in a tight-knit, predominantly African-American neighborhood. Yes. This is relevant to the story. Everyone knows everyone. Yesterday, while I was checking out a customer's items, my manager came up and let me know that someone under 21 had been sold cigarettes. So we would need to crack down on IDing anyone who looks under 40. The customer I was serving looked under 40. So I fell into my script without thinking and asked for an ID. He got very upset, and it took me a couple of seconds to realize what I'd done. He was only buying soda and chips. I apologized profusely, told him he didn't need an ID, and explained what happened. He still didn't look pleased. Understandable but seemed to accept my apology, paid, and left. This morning, I woke up to a WTF text from one of my friends. It was a screenshot of a Facebook post, which was a picture of me, my name, and the gas station I work at. The post accused me of racism and it's gaining traction, with quite a few comments and a lot of likes. This will be an interesting day at work. TL. DR. Thoughtlessly asked for an ID from someone who wasn't buying alcohol or cigarettes. Accidentally became the local racist cashier. Do not respond on any comments on the Facebook pages. Unfortunately, the internet is not filled with rational thinking adults. It will only drag it on and add fuel to the fire. Let it go. Admit to your boss. And yourself that the mistake was made and go forth. You don't see major companies with halfway decent PR. Respond to this for a reason. If you must apologize, don't do it on the negative posts. Oops. I don't see what would be racist about it, as it was clearly just a case of you zoning out. Hopefully things calm down for you. No one makes honest mistakes anymore apparently. Get off Facebook, you will do much better without that crap. Stopping racism with defamation, seems like a good idea. Seems like the person you wrongfully checked was trying really hard to find racism in your small mistake. Even after you've explained yourself and apologized pretty much attention grabbing at this point. I can't remember the number of times I asked people for their rewards card twice during a transaction when I was a cashier. But it was a lot. Mistakes, zoning out happen. Emo that guy is a bit of a douche for taking it so personally and then complaining about it online. Even after you apologized and explained. Why are Americans so obsessed with trying to lose people their jobs? What's with the revenge, murder fetish they have going on trying to send everyone like them into poverty? I would be careful with how people react up especially if they see you IRL now that your situation got posted online from the opposite perspective. That MF is real toxic. Just explain your side I'm sure people will understand, s. So you're being taken advantage of by a race grifter. And that's racist how? Someone just wants attention. What a wanker. Odds. Good luck with the aftermath. I'm really struggling to understand how this was framed as racist-like. Usually things that were unintentional and mistaken for racist intent are that because they bear a similarity to some action that is racist. And an outside viewer can't tell the difference for sure. I'm not seeing that here. This is just an incorrect thing to ask for. Also, what person working retail hasn't gone on autopilot and said the wrong script at the wrong time? 
I've definitely been carded for decent olive oil in a glass bottle because the checker wasn't paying attention and thought it was a wine, liquor bottle. I was barely underage at the time. Lol that person is asking for a lawsuit. This type of slander and cyber stalking is no joke. This could hurt your future potential of getting a job and making money. It would be an easy case in court. Edit. As Tommy Blockhead 20 pointed out. Easy. Not a good way to put it. I tend to agree that without damages. This would not be an easy case. Edit 2. Okay so big thanks to Quick Brown Fox, Say and Tommy Blockhead 20 for talking through and providing info here. US requires that the libelous false claim be proven to be untrue. How does one prove they are not racist? They cannot. Therefore, our gas station bro here likely has no case. Lol even though I was incorrect. It is always great to learn new things. Ah oh yes, the joys of social media, isn't this fun? I'm very confused. Dot why was he upset? He was buying a soda and chips. Dot you asked for an ID. He was confused. Dot you realized you didn't need the ID. Dot you apologized. He paid for soda and chips. Dot now you're racist. What did I miss? Funny enough, this exact scenario, minus the FB post, happened to me a few years back when I worked at a Shell station. Asked to see ID from a woman buying Little Debbie brownies in a Red Bull. She didn't get mad or throw a fit. But I apparently had her questioning what could be in the brownies that I'd need to see ID for. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.